Hello and welcome to My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, all in mare duration. Get it? It's like moderation, but for horses. Thank you, Ponyville. You've all supported our little establishment for so many moons now. Yes, we're so grateful. Special thanks to Pinkie Pie for planning this celebration for us. Of course! What would Ponyville be without Sugar Cube Corner? Well, it would certainly be. What in tarnation is that drumming? I have no idea. We'd better go find out. Less sweet without it. Can any pony tell where that depressing drumming is coming from? Right over there! Who is it, Pinky? I don't know, but they don't look like much fun. I should probably greet them. Any pony want to be on the welcoming committee? Oh, me, 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 me! We're right behind you, Mare Mare. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. That's the spirit, Twilight. Greetings. I'm Mare Mare, and A <gasps> great evil prevails in these parts! Uh, what? I can feel it all around, rattling in my hooves, electrifying my mane! Yes, a great evil. Close, so terribly close. There! Where? I'm not really sure what's going on here, but is the sword really necessary? Silence! Twilight, what's happening? Hell if I know. Through those doors is the evil I must warn you of. Lurking deep behind their mask of hues and fun. Um, I don't follow. There are wicked, nasty lies that will bring you demise. If I were you, I'd put my hooves down hard and run. Whoa! Yeah, thinking about running now. You said it, crazy old bitch. They lure you to their lair so you can celebrate. But what they offer's not as friendly as it seems! Who's they? For the sickly tainted treats will surely make your doom complete! And summon terror to your slumber instead of dreams! Oh dear! Have you thought about reconsidering that veil? Listen here, my little ponies! Let me warn you! Let me save you from the evil in this town. The time has come to band together and reverse this stormy weather. For the greater good, we'll shut this place down now! I now pronounce Ponyville to be sugar-free! What? Excuse me, with all the swords and cake smashing, I don't think I heard that last part right! I'm not sure who you think you are, but you cannot come marching into our town and- Silence! Come, my ponies. We'll have much work to do for going to save this town. It appears to have been overrun with the evils of sugar. We must educate these wayward citizens. Uh, what just happened? I'm not sure, but it was really weird. And scary. I'm with Fluttershy. This is an emergency! Temperance Flowerdew says sugar is the ultimate evil. It destroys your teeth and... Your soul? And leaves a severe weight gain? Lies and slander! <gasps> She's got a hold of our sugar! I really don't see how this Temperance Flowerdew could possibly outlaw sugar. Sure, she has a flair for the dramatic, but the citizens of Ponyville will not believe a pamphlet full of lies. Well, technically, darling, sugar can cause all of those things she's printed. Except maybe that part about destroying your soul. <sighs> yes, that's true. But only if you eat nothing but sugar all the time. What? I suggest that every pony just go about their business. Let Temperance and her crew pass out these flyers and move along to the next town. Everything will be fine. I sure hope you're right, Twilight. The next morning... Maybe Twilight was right. We just needed to let Temperance blow through town, and now we can get back to normal. Indeedy. Ready to open for business. Or not! What could possibly be making them go along with this? No rotting teeth for me. No hypertension for me! 
Does that answer your question? Twilight, we're so glad to see you. What are we going to do? If they keep this up, they're going to put us out of business! Impossible. Sugar Cube Corner is a fixture in Ponyville. It'll take more than one fanatic with a few followers to shut it down. It's not time to panic. How long can I possibly keep this up? One week later... Is it town to panic yet? Half the town is protesting! And the other half is far too afraid to come in! Business has completely dried up! This place is where we sell Granny Smith's pies! We're already feeling the hit back of Sweet Apple Acres! Party planning is way down! No pony wants to blow up candles on a veggie platter! I really didn't think it would get this bad. Is there something less sugar you can make and sell? Baking sweets is what I'm good at. It's my special talent. And our treats have always made every pony happy, not sick. How can this be Sugar Cube Corner without sugar? I'm fed up and I'm gonna do something about it. Cakes, follow me. <sighs> there must be some way to reason with temperance. Some solution. Where are you going, Pinky? I think I need some alone time right now. Sugar Cube Corner without sugar? Ponyville without Sugar Cube Corner? Pinky parties without sweets? Ponyville without Pinky parties? <sighs> if there are no Pinky parties, then why am I even here? What's my purpose? Doesn't Temperance understand the importance of my parties? Of course she doesn't! How could she if she's never experienced one? You always get the best advice, Gummy. Temperance Flower Dew better get ready for the bestest party of her life. Temperance Flower Dew, I'm coming for you! With lots of fun, that is. I don't think we've been formally introduced. I'm Pink. I am well aware of you. She with the iron stomach. She who's the ultimate vessel for this evil. Mm, I don't think I'm a vessel for evil. Though the iron stomach thing may not be too far off. Anyways, it just occurred to me that you've been in Ponyville for over a week now and haven't received a pad in a pinky welcome party. I don't have time for parties and don't believe in them. I have a mission to save all ponies. I will not be distracted by nonsense such as streamers and confetti. Those things aren't nonsense. Aren't they, though? Is that what you want your life to be, Miss Pie? Filled with the frivolity of confetti, which is so easily disposed after serving its fleeting purpose. I, on the other hoof, devote my days to helping ponies, enabling them to purge themselves of poison. Making an impression that will last a lifetime! But I do make an impression. One that makes every pony happy. Happy for the moment, maybe. But you give them cakes, candies, cookies and cupcakes. All those things that make them sick. Is that your purpose? Making ponies sick? I never thought about it that way. I don't want to make ponies sick. And so many ponies here in town agree with you. Maybe there really isn't a place for me in Ponyville anymore. There, there, Miss Pie. I know you don't harm them deliberately. There is a way you can actually help. There is? With Ponyville's biggest sugar shock in my corner! We'll convince the rest of the town to go free! Two days later... Pinky, Mr. or Mrs. Cake? Where is every pony? What the? Come to the place where the apples grow. Ask for a swordfish like you're in the know? What is going on? No my sugar! <sighs> Just when I thought things couldn't get any crazier. What can I do you for? A uh, Granny Smith? I received a letter that said I should ask for a swordfish. Welcome, friend. Granny, will you please tell me what's going on? Has all the Ponyville gone mad? I see you got my note. Rainbow Dash, what is all of this? Let me treat you to some sugar. 
Howdy. How about getting my friend here a slice of that double chocolate caramel crunch cake? A la mode. You've got it. Applejack, please tell me what's going on. That tempers drove all the business out of Sugar Cube Corner, so me and the cakes decided to move any remaining business here, outside city limits. But doesn't it look like every pony's going completely overboard on the sugar? Can't you cut them off or something? Look, if they're willing to buy, I'm willing to sell. Guess they're afraid it'll get completely outlawed soon. How could things have gotten this out of control? <laughs> Enough! I'm going to talk some sense into that temperance flower dew! Sounds good. Now, are you gonna pay for this cake? No princess discount, bye! Uh, got any antacid? <sighs> Now go ahead and blow out the candles on your birthday, lasagna! <sighs> it's Cupcake Friday! How dare you give us cabbage cups instead! Yeah! <sighs> Temperance Flower Dew! Where are you? Excuse me, have any of you seen... Pinkie Pie? Pinky, not you too. How could she have done this to you, of all ponies? She's not so bad, Twilight. As it turns out, we're not so different. When she was a filly, she grew up at a place that was just as serious as my family's rock farm. Sugar was strictly forbidden in her house, but temptation was everywhere. And one day, she gave in to that temptation and paid the price. She was sick for days. Aw, boo effin who? <sighs> Sorry, but this has become asinine. She's been trying to stop ponies from feeling bad, and that's all I want to do too. But Pinky, how do you feel right now? I feel... pretty bad right now. I feel bad too! And have since she came to Ponyville! So has every pony else! At least they're healthy. Healthy? What do you know about- Silence! I will not be quiet! Yes, being healthy is about nutrition! But it's also about being happy! Why does every pony think the sugar thing needs to be all or nothing? Look around here! Do these ponies look happy and healthy? Oh dear... Why did I eat so many sweets? Where's our cupcakes? Have I caused all this... chaos? Honestly? Yes, you have! I've been so focused on my one cause that I never stopped to see any pony else's side. What are the effects of my actions? What have I done? Nothing that can't be reversed. Really? We're pretty resilient here in Ponyville. Thank you, citizens of Ponyville, for being so welcoming. And forgiving. And for this wonderful send-off as we embark on our new mission of teaching sensible, balanced eating. Are you ready for the cake? Yes, I am ready. As it turns out, enjoying a little bit of sweets really is okay. But Pinky, you seem to live off them. When no pony's looking, I eat a lot of veggies. Happy to hear it. And this concludes All in Moderation. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>